This is a short video that describes Applied Logic Engineering's USB to Hack HD camera interface. This custom interface allows you to control the function of the Hack HD camera uh, from directly from a PC, a Linux box, or a Macintosh. If you're not familiar with the Hack HD camera, uh, we'll give you a quick overview here. Uh, this uh, is a single board camera. Uh, that's sold. Uh, it's a complete embedded re video recorder essentially that has the ability to record uh, 1080p uh, video uh, directly to a micro uh, SD card. Uh, what we've done here at Applied Logic is we've mounted this in a blue case and added the necessary wiring um, to bring the connections out to the uh, for the functions of the camera. From left to right these are uh, composite video out which you see uh, with the uh, yellow RCA plug. The center plug is for uh, a plus 5 DC power input and to the right is our custom applied logic uh, camera interface which supplies um, the signal for controlling the function of the camera as well as the LED or status output uh, from the camera that can be monitored by the PC. The Applied Logic USB to Hack HD camera interface uh, is shown here. <clears throat> this is essentially a, a USB connector uh, on one end of the cable that plugs directly into a PC, a Linux box, or a Mac. Uh, it contains all the necessary control electronics in its housing. Uh, and then at the other end of the cable is a uh, three conductor 2.5 millimeter jack. Uh, that we use to uh, connect to the Hack HD camera. To connect the Applied Logic USB to Hack HD converter, you simply take the uh, USB plug uh, and insert it into any available USB slot uh, in the PC, the Linux box, or the Macintosh. That's all that's required to do the installation on the PC side. The other end of the Applied Logic USB to Hack HD camera adapter simply plugs into the camera and in our configuration we use the 2.5 millimeter plug uh, which simply just plugs into the available jack. Our Hack HD interface adapter also includes a Microsoft Windows uh, application that runs on Windows 7 as well as Windows Vista that allows you to control the camera rem either manually or through a time-lapse function uh, as indicated in the software. We also show the camera status. Um, the status is indicated by the uh, LED output which we bring up to uh, the PC through the adapter. Uh, the LED uh, status indicates that the camera power is on and or that the camera is recording. Um, to give you a brief overview of the, of the software, the upper left corner of the application is dedicated to connecting to the correct COM port that's required for the interface to the camera. Um, the way that the adapter works is it works with a virtual COM port. Uh, when you plug it in, Windows will assign a COM port to the adapter. In this case, it's COM32, as you can see, and the software will automatically connect to it. Uh, and there's a status message below indicating that uh, the connection has been successful. In the lower center portion of the uh, left side of the software, you can see that there's a uh, indicator here for the LED that's coming from the camera and as the software says the uh, steady red on means that the camera is powered on if the LED is flashing that means that the camera is recording in the upper right portion of the window there are several manual control uh, buttons that you can use uh, the power on and record button is used to simply turn the camera on and begin automatic recording Due to the nature of the Hack HD camera, uh, there's about a five to six second delay from when the power is applied to the camera until it boots uh, and it begins recording. Um, subsequently, you can use the power off button below that to stop the recording process and turn the camera back off again. If your application requires that you have an instant uh, record when the uh, record button is pressed, um, it's better to put the camera in standby power mode and then start the record <coughs> recording from that. On the right hand side you can see the commands for that sequence. Uh, the top button there allows you to turn the power on to the camera 
but just going to standby mode with no recording. Uh, right below that there's a power off uh, to control um, the power off to the camera. Below that uh, is a start record and below that a stop record. So these functions are all used to put the camera into power on mode and into a standby and then uh, the record and the stop record are to uh, control the recording functions uh, from that aspect. The lower right portion of the software uh, window uh, shows the time lapse functionality. Uh, this gives you a great deal of control over doing um, unattended recording with the camera. Um, you can indicate a, a start time for the uh, time lapse to begin. Uh, it can be a start time, start date as well as the stop time and stop uh, uh, date uh, in which you want the uh, session to end. Um, you can indicate the uh, time and minutes between recording sessions and the length to record. Uh, all this will be shown in the demonstration here uh, as we go along. To show you some of the functionality of the application, um, we'll go through some of the basic uh, controls that you can uh, operate. Uh, first off, if you press the power on and record button, you'll see that the LED button uh, goes to steady red indicating that the camera is on and then begins to flash here indicating that the camera is now in a recording mode so at this point the camera is recording to the micro SD card uh, on board and will continue to do that until uh, we click the power off button here and when we do that the camera goes momentarily to a steady red and then the LED goes off indicating that the camera is off and the recording session is over for more sophisticated uh, applications, uh, you may want to manually turn just the standby power onto the camera. Uh, we can do that by clicking on the power on standby. Um, you'll see momentarily here that the LED will come on, uh, indicating uh, that the power to the camera is on and is ready uh, to begin record mode. The advantage over this mode versus the automatic power on and record is that when I click the start record button here, the recording session will begin immediately. As you can see the LED is now flashing indicating that the uh, camera is recording. Camera will continue record here until I press the stop record button and at that point uh, the LED goes back to a solid red indicating that the camera is still powered on but is in a standby mode. Um, to turn the power off to the camera I can simply click the power off button and as the software will show here the LED will go off indicating that the uh, camera is now in a power off mode. To show you how the time lapse function works with our software um, we've set up a session here to begin uh, you can see the start date and the start time of 7.59.51 p.m. with a stop time of the same date and 8.01.51 p.m. Uh, what we've done is we've set it to record uh, basically for 20 seconds as the software indicates uh, with a one minute time between sessions. Right now the software is enabled and waiting for the beginning of the start time uh, lapse to occur. As the time point approaches for the beginning of the recording function the uh, camera continues to monitor the time uh, from the PC and when the uh, available start lapse time begins uh, the camera will be powered up and the recording will start. So we've reached the time at which the time lapse start has uh, begun. You can see that the LED is flashing red, indicating the camera is now recording. You can also see the progress bars on the software, the lower bar showing 20 seconds worth of recording time and the upper bar showing one minute between uh, time lapse sessions. So we've now finished the first recording session. Uh, we continue to time out the uh, one minute between. As you can see the software is indicating it's in a standby mode and the time between progress bar continues to count. Uh, what we'll do here is the software when it gets to the end of the one minute time between uh, will begin the next recording session and um, this process will continue until the software reaches the date and time uh, that it is indicated for the stop time lapse function. So as you can see we're almost to the one minute point here and at this point the recording starts, uh, the LED goes red on the software and we begin another 20 second recording session. 
Uh, as I mentioned, this will continue, this process continues until we reach the end of the uh, stop time, lapse date, and time session. This is an easy way to control the Hack HD camera for uh, many, many kinds of different time lapse functions. When the software reaches the stop time lapse time and date, uh, the recording session ends and as you can see in the software the status line for the time lapse function indicates completed. Um, that's a quick way to know that when you come back to the software after uh, it's done its unattended recording that the uh, time lapse um, functionality did fire and did complete successfully. So as we've illustrated here, the combination of the Hack HD camera board uh, combined with Applied Logic Engineering's uh, USB to Hack HD interface gives a very powerful and versatile uh, way to control the Hack HD camera from a PC, Mac, or from a uh, Linux device. If you have any questions, uh, you can get more details or order this product from www.appliedlogicengine.com. Thanks.